Thanks for tuning in to BTW 21. I'm Chad Hall and you're watching the Neighborhood Network. Hope everybody had a wonderful weekend as we get started grinding again in another week here on Monday, June the 10th. Congratulations is in order for a gentleman who has retired after 20 years with the Henry County Sheriff's Office. Congratulations to investigator Jerry Farmer on an outstanding 20 year tenure with the Henry County Sheriff's Office. Your dedication and service has undoubtedly left a lasting impact on the community. From your role in the patrol division to the vice division and as patrol supervisor, your commitment to keeping Henry County safe has been unwavering. While your presence will be deeply missed, your legacy will continue to inspire. Wishing you a very and enjoyable retirement. Jerry, we'd like to thank you for all your invaluable contributions to the safety and well-being of all the residents of Martinsville and Henry County. Again, Mr. Jerry Farmer, congratulations uh, on your retirement. Now we're gonna be moving into something exciting on Philpot Lake that everybody's gonna wanna be a part of. Concert by the Canoe 2024, Franklin County Parks and Recreation. Join us in a series of free concerts at the beautiful Twin Ridge Recreational Area at Philpot Lake. Bring your boat, bring your whole family, and enjoy an evening with music, food, and fun. Concert starts June the 14th at 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. with His and Hers. July the 12th, 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m., Meg Heat and the Meat Sweets. August the 16th from 6.30 to 8.30, Corey Hunley and Matt Powell. Location again is at the Twin Ridge Recreational Area at Philpot at Franklin County, Virginia. Food will be available at the hot dog stands and remember, ensure boat safety while enjoying the concert by canoe. There's always plenty of fun at the beautiful Philpot Lake. So everyone go up on these dates and enjoy a beautiful evening. We'll take a quick commercial break when we come back. We had an accident over the weekend that ended an SUV in someone's home. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Welcome to Tequila's, where the fun never stops and the flavor keeps rolling. Experience the perfect fusion of Mexican cuisine and bowling experience under one roof. Whether you're bowling a strike or taking a spare, our flavorful dishes and refreshing drinks are sure to keep your energy high and your taste buds delighted. Tequila's, where great food and good times collide. Come for the bowling and stay for the flavor. 1051 Spruce Street in Martinsville. 276-336-3727. Welcome to Zimmar Chiropractic, your solution to a pain-free life. With our specialized chiropractic adjustments, we target back and neck injuries, offering tailored treatments for your specific needs. Conveniently located at 3652 Virginia Avenue, our advanced facility includes in-house x-ray machines and skilled massage therapists. Call us now at 276-647-5555 to take the first step towards a healthier and more comfortable you. Zimmer Chiropractic, your path to wellness starts here. Boyce Holland Veterinary Services since January 1st, 1982. Celebrating 42 years of caring for your furry friends. In 2024, we're overjoyed to mark our 42nd anniversary in the veterinary business. A journey filled with countless wagging tails, we extend our heartfelt thanks to every pet parent who has chosen us over the years. Your loyalty and trust have been the cornerstones of our success. From adorable puppies and kittens to wise seniors, each furry friend has become a cherished part of our extended family. As we celebrate this significant anniversary, we eagerly look forward to many more years of serving our community and being a trusted partner in the health and happiness of your pets. Thank you for 42 positively wonderful years. Here's to many more tail wagon moments together at Boyce Holland Veterinary Services, Stewart, Virginia. 
At Soba Family Medicine Martinsville, our providers, along with their compassionate team, are ready to provide your entire family, ages 2 and older, with preventative and sick care. There are many services provided, such as hypertension, acute illnesses and injuries, annual, school, and sport physicals, diabetes, and chronic medical conditions, and so much more. We are now accepting new patients. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sober Family Medicine of Martinsville is located at 110 Commonwealth Boulevard West, Martinsville, Virginia. You can call at 276-666-7328 or visit soberphysicians.com slash primary care for more information. At Autos by Nelson, we value our customers. So we sat them down to get their double take. I've been a customer just for a few months. I'm a new customer, in fact. Order straight from the factory. So we own a computer and we started from scratch, built from the color, interior, wheels, the rims, built everything to my satisfaction. A lot of stuff right here was new to me and, and we placed the order in about two, three months, the vehicles delivered. I would highly recommend Nelson to a friend or a family member. Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us again. June the 9th, there was an accident around 3 a.m. Emergency services were alerted at a motor vehicle crash. Upon arrival at 120 McKinley Drive in Bassett, Virginia, responders from the Bassett Volunteer Fire Department, along with the EMS, Virginia State Police, and Henry County were on the scene. According to the state police, Speed likely played a major role in this accident, which involved a vehicle varying off the road and crashing into the home at this given address. One minor injury was reported. Now we'll take a quick look at our weather with Miss Grace Webster. I think we're gonna have a beautiful week. Grace, what's it looking like? Right, Chad. Looking ahead at our five-day forecast brought to you from Ashbrook Audiology where relationships matter, we can see that sunshine is in our future. We starting here today on Monday at 78 degrees and as the week progresses we are going to reach temperatures in the 90s. But let's focus right now on Monday with partly cloudy skies with a high of 78 for today. Looking at Tuesday, still partly cloudy out, getting a little bit warmer into the 80s. And at night, we're staying in those mid to warmer 60s, so those summertime nights are coming. All right, Wednesday is still partly cloudy, but gradually getting a little bit warmer at 82. And then Thursday is where we start getting into the hotter 80s at 87, and Friday with mainly sunny skies at 91. Let's go ahead and take a deeper look at our hometown forecast and our overnight forecast for today. All right. Looking at this Monday forecast that we're having here in Martinson, we have a high of 78 for today. Rocky Mount sitting at 77 in Stewart right there with Martinsville at 78. Chances of rain are at 9% and wind at 7 miles per hour, keeping us nice and cool. Expecting partly cloudy skies all across the area and later into the night, expecting those temperatures to go ahead and drop on down to the 50. Martinsville will be sitting at 54, Rocky Mount at 54 and Stewart also at 54. Due to that wind dropping to four miles per hour, everyone will be staying right there in the mid to lower 50s for tonight, and chances of rain will be at a 4%. We will have partly cloudy skies into the night, but that is okay. Visibility will come later into the week for the stars. Let's go ahead and take a look at our Tuesday forecast. I have given this day a 10 out of 10 because it is a high of 80 with a low of 56. So staying pretty warm, very nice. We will have partly cloudy skies with chances of rain at a 4% and wind varying from about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Sunrise is at a bright 6 a.m., so 10 out of 10 from me. Let's go ahead and take a look at our weekend. Looking at our weekend forecast, almost hitting the 90s here on Saturday and Sunday, just a few degrees shy of it. 89 for Saturday and 87 for Sunday. 4% chance of rain on Saturday and a 10% on Sunday. So staying very low. And much like this weekend that we just had, we had intervals of clouds and periods of sunshine. The UV index will be a 10 out of 11, so not quite too harsh, but still 
majority needing to wear sunscreen and protect from those UV rays. Wind will vary from five to 10 miles per hour and we are set up for an amazing weekend. All right, so we're gonna talk about the child heat death statistics. Did you know that children's temperature rises three times faster than an adult's? Heat stroke can begin at 104 degrees in a child. In 2023, 29 children died to a heat stroke in vehicles. Vehicle interiors can get up to 50 degrees higher than the outside of the car. Look, preventing the child heat death, avoid leaving your child unattended, so that's why you're playing or in the car. A good way to remember to look before you go into the store or anywhere that you're heading out and then lock it. Then also, if you are a bystander to someone that has left a child into the car, ensure that you are calling 911 if you find a child. All right, and that'll wrap it up for me, ladies and gentlemen, and we will see you here again tomorrow. Have a blessed day, and back to you, Chad. Thanks, Grace. Looks like we're going to have a beautiful all week. So everybody, if you're out, you better get that suntan lotion on so you don't get burned. So we'll take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we've got an investigation of a homicide. Stay tuned when we return. Welcome to Bahama Snow Shack. What can we get for you? Bahama Snow Shack is Henry County's shaved ice vendor. With hundreds of flavor combinations to choose from, there is something sure to satisfy your taste. Located at 3161 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville and open daily from noon to 9. Stop by and find your flavor. A broken or cracked windshield can ruin a day. At Daniel's Auto Glass, it's our goal to make that unfortunate scenario as painless as possible. We have been servicing Franklin County and the surrounding area since 1995. Our customers are our neighbors, and we want you to know that you have the choice who repairs or replaces your windshield. And if you can't come out to us, we can come out to you. We also offer window tinting, and we are fully equipped and certified to reset all camera systems in any windshield, both in shop and with our mobile unit. For nearly 30 years, Drake Extrusion offers you the personalized service and flexibility of a custom supplier. With research and development based on two continents, Drake is on the cutting edge of polypropylene fiber technology. We work daily with polymer suppliers to improve existing products and meet the challenge of new end uses. We not only value our products, but we also value our employees. For more information, email us at info at drakeextrusion.com or give us a call at 276-632-0159. Do you know what season it is? It's farmer's market season. Find fresh, local produce, baked goods, honey, flowers, meat, and more when shopping at the market. Snap shoppers can visit the market and double their money. It's simple. One, determine the amount of funds needed. Two, visit the market manager. Three, swipe your EBT card. Four, enter your PIN number. Five, receive tokens to spend with vendors. The EBT match through Virginia Fresh Match is for produce only and is eligible to those who receive traditional and pandemic EBT funds. Remember to support your local farmers. The market is open 7.30 a.m. to 12 noon on Saturdays, April 27th through November 16th and on Wednesdays, July 10th through September 25th. The market is located at 65 West Main Street in Martinsville. See you soon at the Uptown Martinsville Farmers Market. Farmers. Harbor Towing and Recovery is expanding. 4173 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville. Harbor now offers custom tire and wheels with advanced technology. Automotive repair? No problem for Harbor. From simple repair to major semi-trucks, Harbor's got you covered. Oil changes, brakes, front end alignment on any size vehicle or trucks. And remember, 24-hour towing. So you tell the police to call Harbor Towing. 276-632-2580.
Thanks for staying with us. The Virginia State Police are investigating a homicide from June the 3rd. On June the 3rd, 2024, Virginia State Police began investigating homicide of a four-month-old male in Craig County. The child was found unresponsive at the scene on Sagebrush Lane in Newcastle and was pronounced deceased upon EMS arrival. The Office of the Chief Medical Examiner ruled the death a homicide. Trevon Carruth, 26, from Francisville, LA, was arrested on June the 5th, 2024, and charged with second degree murder. Carruth faces charges of possession of controlled substance and is being held without bond at the Body Tot County Jail. The investigation is still ongoing. Now we'll take a quick look at our local sports with Mr. Christian Hall. My main goal is to uh, kind of compete, like you said, rough one last week. I just wanted to do better than last week and kind of prove that I belong here and I'm a starter. Um, a little hiccup in the third inning, but that's responded really well and it was great. Picked me back up and went on my way. Arm felt pretty good today. A uh, little sore throughout the week, normal soreness, but I came in today and uh, I think the mindset, the mentality kind of kicked in and worked out the way I wanted it to. Uh, in between innings at five spot, I ended up going down to the bullpen, had to rewarm up, but I came back in and got a zero, and that was nice. I mean, he came in and did his job. I think his first 15 pitches were all strikes. Uh, as a starter, you want your reliever to come in, throw strikes, get outs for you. I mean, he got me out of the situation. I left a runner on base, and he punched out two dudes, got a ground ball. I mean, he pitched his butt off. He pitched phenomenal. I loved it. I mean, I've never played at a ballpark that uh, we played. We had fireworks after, but it was uh, it was great. Got along with the teammates a little bit. And, uh, the crowd was into it. The team was into it. It was really nice. Yeah, um, pregame, just get feeling good, get loose, you know, chill out with the guys, get used to this heat down here. I'm from Michigan, so it's a little different, but, you know, everything's been easy so far. Uh, I saw them flip Enrique a first pitch curveball, so I kind of thought I was going to get one of them, either first pitch or second, and sat on it and got it. So uh, it's pretty exciting coming around the bases to get that first one out of the way here in Martinsville. I uh, just knew it was our last game of a six-game stretch, and we had to you know, keep the foot on the gas all the way to that ninth inning, and we did a good job staying in there. It could have been a little more focused throughout the game, but uh, we did a good job overall. Uh, it was great. It was great. I told all the guys each time they came off the mound and after the game how great they did today, and uh, we looked for that. And uh, our hitting's been good all year, but if our pitching comes along too, it's going to be hard to beat us. Now we'll take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we'll have our Apex Bell Bonds Crime Report. Paddle, bike, cast, or run your way to Smith River Fest 2024 at Monogram Foods Smith River Sports Complex. This event is truly a celebration of all the things associated with the Smith River and our amazing outdoors. Join us August 24th, 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. at our fun and exciting Smith River Fest 2024. If you're looking to buy or sell, please give us a call at 276-647-7667 or come by our office at Sarver Properties, 5006 Kings Mountain Road, Collinsville, Virginia. We bought the building back uh, last year and we've been remodeling it since and we are ready to go now. We've just worked relentlessly with local contractors and my staff and got it done. We set it up as an open concept so all the agents can come in. They have their own uh, dual monitor systems with the use on their laptops and that way we're all working together in the same room. Right now we have eight agents and uh, we're always looking to hire new agents as well. We have listings now and we're ready to go and we can show any house in the MLS system. Hi, I'm Stephen Edwards and I'm the owner of Riverside Tire Service. At Riverside Tire Service, we have been a staple in this community for over 40 years as your premier Michelin tire dealer. Now with that relationship with Michelin for over 40 years, we can pass on savings to you that no one else can compare to. 
We have over $50,000 worth of Michelins in stock ready to fit your vehicle. If we don't have it, we also receive two deliveries a day so we can get you rolling in a timely manner. Hi, I'm Simone Red, President and CEO of Martinsville First Savings Bank. We would like for you all to come in and see us, see what products that we have and what we can do to serve you. And we like your business. We're a part of this community and we love our community. Martinsville First Savings Bank is located at 25 West Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia. And our phone number is 276-638-8771. Still thinking about your next step? As a Patrick and Henry Community College Patriot, you'll enhance your knowledge, strengthen your body, expand your creativity, serve your community, and feel supported as a member of the family in a place where you belong. Take your next step by contacting an advisor. Call 276-656-5482 or visit us online today to take your next step. Corey Lewis of Martinsville charged with failure to appear on felony offense. James Harrison of Martinsville charged with assault and battery of a family member, strangulation resulting in wounding or bodily injury. Andre Beal of Martinsville charged with intoxication in public. Sean Mullins of Martinsville charged with assault and battery on a family member. Tracy Walker of Martinsville charged with malicious wounding, accident dri driver not RPT. Martinsville Police Department most wanted. All of these fugitives should be considered dangerous. Never attempt to approach, apprehend, or arrest these fugitives yourself. If you see any of these subjects or have information regarding any of these subjects, you may call the Martinsville Police Department. Cornelius Jefferson, most wanted, charges of distribution of cocaine, second, possessing a firearm with Schedule I or two drugs, failure to appear, felony offense. Gail Martin, most wanted, charged with probation violation on felony offense, five, times, probation violation, misdemeanor offense, David Lee Ellis, most wanted, charged with probation violation on felony offense, Ashley Nicole Horton, most wanted, charged with probation violation on felony offense, Rodney Lee Harrison, most wanted, charged with three counts protective order violation. If you slip up, you need a bondsman you can trust at your side. At Apex Bail Bonds in Martinsville, our agents are with you at every step, not just the day you bond out. Need affordable bail? You'll get the same low rates we offer in Danville and Reedsville. Apex Bail Bonds has the only bail bondsman around licensed on both sides of the Virginia-Carolina line. Provides fast releases and affordable bail at the lowest rates allowed by law. Apex Bail Bonds, Martinsville, across from Checkered Pig, for the lowest rates allowed. Now it's time for our daily obituaries that are sponsored in part by the Bassett Funeral Services.
Mary Moyer, 97, of Ridgeway, Virginia, transition Tuesday, June the 4th, 2024. Funeral services will be held Monday, June the 10th at 12 p.m. at the Greater International Pentecostal Holiness Church. The family will receive friends at the church one half hour prior to that funeral. Arrangements with dignity provided by Heinz Funeral Services. Nathaniel Harrison Jr., 62, of Martinsville, transitioned from this earthly life Wednesday, June the 5th, 2024. A visitation service will be held Wednesday, June the 12th at 11.30 a.m. with a funeral service at 12 noon at Harrison Funeral Home in Martinsville, Virginia. A public viewing will be held Tuesday, June the 11th from 1 to 5 p.m. It is with profound sorrow we announce the death of Antoine L. Woods, 39, of Reedsville, North Carolina, who passed away Friday, June the 7th, 2024. A list of survivors and service details will be announced when arrangements are finalized. Fulton Walton Memorial Chapel in Eden, North Carolina, is serving the family. Treva Ann Smith Clardy, 72, of Martinsville, Virginia, died Monday, June the 3rd, 2024. There are not any services planned. To express condolences online, please visit rightfuneralservices.net. Right Funeral Service and Crematory is serving the family. Hi, I'm Paul Kennedy with Bassett Funeral Service and I'm excited to introduce our new funeral director, Beth Edna Harrison of Bassett, Virginia. Hello, my name is Beth Edna Harrison. I'm a funeral director with Bassett Funeral Services. I am happy to be back home in Bassett, Virginia, serving my community as a funeral director. I look forward to serving you. Bassett Funeral Service has been serving Martinsville and Henry County for 28 years. In 2024, let our family serve your family. That'll wrap it up for us today in the news. Hope everybody had a great Monday, and we'll see you Tuesday right here on BTW 21. Remember, if you see news, grab that cell phone and record and send it in to BTW 21, and you might just make the news. Don't forget, for more on these stories, tune in to www.btw21.com, our website for the stories in its entirety. Again, everybody, thanks for tuning in, and have a safe and bless Monday evening. Greetings, I am Quentin Walton, Director of Fulton Walton Funeral Home and Cremation Service, LLC, licensed in North Carolina and Virginia. Our staff is committed to serve you continuously. Service for all within the means of all is our goal for the community. We have a professional staff qualified to serve you and your family to help you gain knowledge, especially in pre-need borough planning, insurance strategies to promote wealth for you and your family. Having 29 years of excellent service the establishment is now serving two locations. Fulton Walton Funeral Home and Cremation Service, LLC, 219 Dillard School Drive, Yanceyville, North Carolina, phone 336-694-4881, and Fulton Walton Memorial Chapel, 417 Price Street, Eden, North Carolina, phone 336-627-3300. Website, www.fultonwaltonfuneralhome.com. Allow us the Fulton Walton Funeral Home staff to help you and your family in your time of bereavement.